Hello everyone, it's Liam Carrison here with another episode of Orphan Black Echoes. With episode number three, excited to get into this after these first two episodes have impressed me. Uh, with episode one starting off really, really well. Episode two continued that. Um, but also episode two had me die internally because uh, we had the return of Felix, albeit for just the one episode. He might come back later on, but... Um, I was just so happy. I was just so, so happy seeing him again. Like I said, for those who watched my reactions to the original Orphan Black, um, you guys would have known that me and Felix, my, well, my infatuation to Felix just goes a long way. And that didn't change. That didn't change, you know, 40 years onwards. That never changed whatsoever. And so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but it was really, really great stuff, especially with uh, trying to get a bit more uh, information in regards to Jules, um, with uh, Lucy trying to convince her that, um, you know, she was uh, printed like her, especially with the scarring on her arm. Um, and Jules, uh, I would say, did begin to have a bit of an identity crisis. That might have been quelled a little bit because her grandfather, who she doesn't know is shady, uh, you know, assured her of where she got that scar so yeah but um it was great stuff last time so why don't we get into this episode of all for black echoes episode number three for this season let's go you know where you are honey what did you do to me you've been in a coma for a few weeks you were just transferred but here yesterday. why we're gonna take unless this is the accident in regards to her pair hmm There. I'm Dr. Teller. You can call me Pam, okay? Teller? I didn't I barely here. even knew her. <laughs> That's what I'm here to help you with. I call I'm I so call so Cap. Sorry. You just suffered a really big loss. I mean, this is the problem though. This is manipulation, if she's just been risen from the container. No, honey. Your grandpa's not well enough to take you. He had a stroke. Thought you knew that. Oh my god. This manipulation is just crude. Mom, the woman is literally dead now. Oh shit, this is Truman's show. So, are there any guys in here? You know you gotta get that D. Uh, Jeez. I haven't really looked. And plus, she's been in Hello? a coma. Oh, you must be paid. I had a flash of walking sparkle fatty. <laughs> and, and a car honked. And, and and fatty took off through someone's yard. And we crashed through shit. I'm get, I'm, I don't know if this is originating from the base. Lucy, just, I don't know, whoever her honest. name will be. I know. You got this, kiddo. Go on now. You do get a bit of a sinister okay. vibe here, but also Bye, like a loving vibe from um, Jules. Good. Ooh, this just makes me a bit uneasy. What a great city view, though. Nice try, like nice flash forward there. And she still hasn't decided a color. She's dangerous, which doesn't make any sense. And unless there were cellular variations that we didn't anticipate. She was a perfect match. I checked it a hundred times. We both did. She woke up with no memories. That's the thing, though. They're like gonna chalk this up to everything should be a okay, no errors. I'm, I'm thinking of retiring, actually. Oh, sheesh. I don't trust myself anymore. Yeah, she is really, really damning herself, Think isn't she? It. Oh. That, and they actually directed me to you. So, um, could you just... Oh, no, it's Lucy. in charge of her case? Uh-oh. If you keep asking, I'm going to have to call security. Hey, hey, there you are. Sorry, uh, since her accent, she sort of... Jack coming in with the save. Nightmares about 
The crash? I don't know. All she'd say is, I can't get the blood out. <gasps> oh! Oh, oh over. shoot. I'm really sorry. I wish I could Save nightmare, home. right? Thanks. Well, it's dead. That's what I meant, yeah. Oh. Um, also, I, I have this calc test on Friday, so I would like to make a purchase from the pharmacist if you've made that new batch. Zero dollars, please. Friends discount. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, if something's wrong, you can tell me. I care about you, kiddo. Thanks. I go back to class now. So then there's nothing going on? Nothing going on. Nope. Hunky dory. I'm good. Remember, Jules, you have permission. I know. I have permission to change. Damn. Damn. Oh, shit, Charlie. Oh, oh, the trauma. I'm sorry. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Her hamster just died, and she is blaming herself. So. Oh, my heart's breaking for her. But but the guilt is eating away at her. Good wolf. Actually, wolves generally hunt in packs. Yeah, I was gonna say. Not lone wolves. Unless I was, I was gonna make a mention yeah, lone wolves, but you, you. The thing, look it up. You botched it Hello. the first time. The autopsy came in on our man shot in the orchard. Angle of bullet entry is canted from below. That's interesting. She shot him from a bended knee position. Or the person who pulled the trigger was a lot shorter than Lucy. Child, maybe. Shit. This is all gonna dart back to Jules. Lucy may not be dangerous. What are you doing? Wait, oh, she's, it's, it's a plagiarism test. <laughs> Pe wait, Pegasus girl? Oh, so, so yeah. I've been take flight to a destination unknown, forever wild, forever free, forever me. What if I didn't write this? Or guys, old you plagiarized Pegasus girl. I mean, that could be it. You could have had some uh, inspiration. Take care of Lucy. We're in this together, just like we've always been. <sighs> See, but what does that what mean? Mind wipe Lucy. That stings, doesn't it? Yeah, what's this old blood shebang all about? <laughs> Something nefarious. I don't trust anything. Okay, look, you, you can't tell them I reused that line in my book, okay? The, they'd be so whoa, whoa, whoa. mad, please. Just, oh, just them! Clear, you wrote this journal? It saw you? Look, man, they told me it was for a study, okay? Some new therapy Boom. technique. But listen, okay. You can't tell them you know, okay? I can't tell who. And I think they're still watching me. Who hired you? This is where his think we go. head gets blown off. If was a lie, then my whole life is a lie too, right? Like, everything Dr. Teller said that happened to me. The scar? Did she just make it all up? I mean, what kind of asshole would do that, though? Oh, my God. Do you think I'm a printout too? What if we're all print out? Have all your memories. He tried. It does seem wild they are burying the toy penguin, but I guess it's to be that symbolism of closure. Why would anyone even want to print out a copy of someone else? I have no idea. And why two printouts of the same person at different ages? My guess is that you are a newer version. I guess that a makes sense, really. Who? And when I look in the mirror, 
I see your face. But I know it's me. Did we do something really bad? I want to know. Dream trip. Ooh. Where do you get it? Myself. <laughs> Make it. Of course, teenage version of me is a drug dealer. Maybe if we try it together, we'll get be able some to answers. see something new. Please. She's having guilt. Guess that that's a no answer there. Oy. You want to keep Lucy safe? Just find her before we do. Dr. Teller is worried that your emotional distress is affecting your treatment. She wants you to take these. Oh, shit. They're no. just antidepressants. Uh uh. Uh -uh. Just until things lodge it somewhere in your mouth or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Show us your tongue, James. What? It's a thing. It is a thing, but I'm hoping. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Shit. I don't. I don't think that I don't think those are antidepressants, aren't they? Okay. Okay. Uh I mean to be fair, especially with the fact that Jules might be identified as the um as the prob uh, as the problem. Um because of course they are mistaking uh, they are mistaking the whole situation of Jules for Charlie, of course. Um, that's going to get, like, like, despite the closure, that's going to get a bit more aggressive, one would think. Yeah. But I really love the Jules focus in this episode, though. Um, especially getting a bit more of an idea about um, her character, because... Obviously, you do have the acknowledgement that she is a printout, a younger printout, and you're wondering why. It's a good, it's a good st starting point. Obviously, I don't think that's going to be the reasoning why Jules is, is um, why there's a decrep uh, discrepancy, I guess, between Jules and Lucy. Uh, being a newer model because that's it though and it's weird because obviously you know you think to computers and all of that and you know the further you go along the timeline in terms of years and all of that like for example this computer 10 years time this is going to be ancient as heck right uh well it won't be ancient as heck it's not going to be windows xp but there will be a newer version um but obviously humans don't work like that we get older and and all of that and uh the newer version is you know 14 year old you 24 year old you yeah you can't say the newer version is the 72 ver uh, old uh the 70 72 year old version of you so yeah but uh i mean it, it's just it's it's just pretty pretty great um fun stuff at the minute so um yeah, um, and, and I really did like this episode, so, um, like I said, the Jules focus was, was, um, was solid in my opinion, so that was great stuff, but, um, yeah, it's just really, really, um, yeah, it's just really, really incredible to see, um, where things are going to go. See, I don't know what is going on with the age difference between Jules and Lucy. Because, obviously, they are the only two versions we know so far that have been printed out. Um, and, I mean, pending that there are no other printouts that uh, happen in this, it does make the mind wonder in terms of, okay, well... Um, you know, why is there a difference? I see, I'm spitballing here, and I do think it might have because I'm trying to pitch when Jules was made, and what because obviously we know Lucy has been around for two years, uh, at least because there was obviously a two year 
gap between the beginning part of episode one and uh, the rest of episode one. But um, uh, for for Jules, it can't have been more than, you know, uh, it, it can't have been more than a couple of years at least. Or if anything, l less than a year. I don't know. Um, because, um, you know, sh uh, her hair grew uh, a, a bit more and all of that. So, um, yeah, but... That that's what I'm trying to get, like in terms of okay, well, Lucy will be the I guess first print out and all of that. Obviously, she made a run for it. Go back to the drawing board. Let's get a younger version of insert original um person that they based Lucy and Jules from here. Let's get a new version. Let's get Jules here. Um, and yeah, I don't know if. Like, they thought, okay, well, um, like, they had, well, they would have had some awareness about the fact that this incident happened that Lucy and Jules do remember. Uh, and they thought, okay, well, I don't, we don't know when that exactly happened and all of that for um, the original, I guess, um, person. Um yeah, we don't know how long that uh, that was. So obviously, l how Lucy appears might have been the exact same age as uh, the original person. Um, but they might have thought, okay, because here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking um, they might um, have thought that okay, well, this should be easy. Like, she should have gotten over certain trauma that happened when she was, aka Jules's age, um, and all of that. Because, uh, as Lucy said, it's basically you, but it's not you at the, at the same time in terms of the nightmares that I have. Um, it is a younger version of, of, of me. So... And they thought, okay, well, and, and they must have thought, okay, well, you know, Lucy will have been able to move on from the, tr and everything should be hunky dot. And then she makes a break for it. And they might have thought, okay, we'll think, we'll, we'll, we'll see how things go with a younger version of, um, whoever Lucy's, um, originator is, I guess. Um, we'll go, we'll, 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 if anything, extract the, um, 15 year old version of her into existence and yeah so um but of course uh the whole idea is to make them imagine that they uh, that uh, they have a blank slate and then they can of course feed them bullshit like we we saw with jules in this episode so but of course that isn't exactly um, working out, considering Lucy and Jules, they both have the same nightmare. But um, no, I mean, that's that's their hope that, um, that and, and aka Jules seems to have adapted well, whereas Lucy has not. And uh, yeah, because of the fact that Lucy, of course, made a run for it, Jules uh, got picked up by a foster family and uh, it was easy to nurse Jules into fabricated memories, wasn't it? So... Yeah, but um, we'll get a good explanation. Like I said, I'm just spitballing here uh, in terms of because I'm I'm thinking in terms of like Charlie and her dealing with the trauma of her taking a life and all of that. That there might because I'm and and this is this is a stretch, but I'm thinking that might there might be a link. Um, obviously, I'm not saying that Charlie um, is a, a a missing piece in terms of. Uh, this whole shebang and all of that, but I'm uh, trying to connect the theme of trauma to what is happening, and and there is clear trauma from from the um, flashes of memories that Jules and Lucy both have. But my whole thing is thinking that well, them they are thinking that it's easier to to kind of guide. Lucy, because A, she is a lot more mature than a teenager, uh, and also, um, time has gone by a, a, a bit quicker, so, um, and, yeah, but there's also the naive uh, aspect in terms of, um, someone who is a bit more childlike, I guess, um, 
because the younger audience and all of that will be a bit more susceptible to be uh, filled in. like especially when you've got your your i guess when it comes to you having your memory wiped it it is going to be a lot more easier to kind of control people right but just in general it is a lot more, i i'd say there is a lot more of a better chance to kind of fool the younger audience than there is someone who's like um you know, 20, 30 uh, year old, however old um, Lucy is supposed to be in terms of um, which age she is based on in terms of the originators. So, but yeah, um, it's all very, very interesting because that is always a, that is one of the many questions you have really in terms of like, why is, uh, in, in terms of the show, why is there such a difference between Lucy and, uh, and Jules? So, um, and you know uh, it will be very interesting to see a, a fully fledged answer from that but it was really really great stuff uh, to you know uncover jules's journey uh, further because obviously we had her abduction we didn't really have much to go off on apart from the fact that she's a younger version of lucy um, and we kind of got a bit more about the fact that there was that confirmation that she was a printout so um, but here's the thing with, um, Jules, obviously she's gotten a bit more clarity about how fabricated, um, and that is a pretty apt word, isn't it? Because she was literally fabricated, but, um, how fabricated her life is, uh, she's gotten all those answers, especially with the Pegasus Girl book and all of that, and, um, how the writer was, uh, seemingly coerced, uh, given the panic that he was in, uh, to, to fill in the, the, the diary and all of that, but, um, there's the scar as well that, um, um, I, and I'm kind of surprised that never got brought up, especially when Jules and Lucy reunited because, um, and, and, and I don't know if she's gotten a bit of an idea in her head in regards to, um, in regards to, well, surely they're bullshitting me about, you know, my grandfather and all of that, but... I was just thinking based on the last episode and how she's come to acceptance in terms of the fact that she is a printout um, and and her and Lucy are based on the same person. I was just thinking, well, you know, you surely should go back to the scar and all of that. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, it would be a bit more um, dangerous to, of course, contact your grandfather. Maybe that's why she's playing it. Uh, that's why she's not bringing that up. Um, because she, uh, wants to, you know, pry further into the whole, um, reasoning to why she was printed and she might raise red, uh, red flags and all of that if she contacts, uh, her grandfather. But I was thinking that during the course of this episode, so maybe she's trying to keep it safe and all of that. Um, so, because of course you had at the end of the episode, um, her parents, um wanting her to um you know take the pill at the end of the day and um she of course had to vomit it back up so yeah um so um and of course there's going to be very um very uh, much co like especially with the meeting between um dr uh, teller and um and and jules at school because um you know, uh, she did. Um, she she did suggest that people do uh, do change, and I think that's when she started to worry. Okay, well, she's going off script and all of that, I guess. So uh, we've got to kind of hit the reset button or something like that on her. So, but I mean, just seeing how she was manipulating Jules in the beginning part was just messed up. And there is a very much Truman Show kind of idea being implanted in her like with um Peyton I think that her name was um and you've got the uh, author of uh, Pegasus Girl and all of that um who had to um you know you know, fabricate the diary and all of that there is a very very uh, Truman Show element to Jules's situation um obviously with Lucy making a run for it yeah they never got that chance to kind of fully um you know brainwash her and uh yeah um 
because there were parallels in terms of this episode and episode one when um when lucy woke up but yeah there is a very much Truman Show element to Jules' story, isn't there? So, um, especially when you've got all, especially when you consider the grandfather at the end of the last episode. So, and even the pictures and all of that, because I, because of course she did say she had memories of, you know, uh, her dog and all of that. However, I don't think, yeah, because those photos I'm still suspicious about with how, old they look especially with when you consider i mean obviously they're going to be fabricated but um yeah obviously that's not going to be her memory uh it might be the originator's memories i don't know um but yeah i mean she had those flashes and all of that apparently so um but yeah i mean with a grandfather with those photos um, of course, they're going to keep feeding her lie after lie, and it's revolting. So, yeah. Um, but it's very, very interesting to see, really, everything unfold. Because I am getting a very, very interesting... Um, like, three episodes in, and I am really enjoying the show. It's, it is something new. It is something, like, intriguing as we follow on week by week. Um, and yeah, everything is, um, just pretty, pretty great at the minute. So, um, and you know, that, that also is included on, you know, the focus out. I mean, I say the focus outside Lucy and Jules, obviously when you've got people like Daros, uh, and, and Kira, for example, they are still connected and Charlie, I guess as well. Um, but in terms of, you know, you're seeing cutaways and all of that, it is still very interesting, like, especially with Kira, um and the kind of um hesitancy that she has really um so yeah um so it is just very very um interesting to see how outside of things she is compared to some of her you know colleagues and all of that like she has um such such heart really so um and you know the way she was talking about how she didn't want lucy to have a lack of support and all of that and now uh, she's out there like essentially into the wild really and all of that because of the fact that there was this um fear instilled be uh, and and the way that she is going to be headhunted and all of that and maybe jules and uh, because of course you know you have that discussion going on about the fact that well, they've identified um, um, Charlie as Jules, I guess you could say, because we know that Charlie killed that guard. But of course, when you uh, when you um, think about the fact that well, Lucy could be essentially defective. No, wait, hang on. What if 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 you know the the shot was from this angle? What if it was Jules? So yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, and even then, Charlie's story was just heartbreaking. Like, when she confessed to the cop, I was absolutely, like, ha heartbroken for her. Like, the fact that she hates herself so much. And, like, uh, I, like they had this ha uh, whole closure thing for Charlie um, to kind of try and help her, but I don't think that's going to be the be-all, end-all in terms of Charlie and her feelings in terms of... Cause she's still young at the end of the day and the fact that she's taken a life is gonna scare her so much so i do s sympathize so much with charlie but um yeah this was a really really fantastic episode loved the focus on jules this episode was really really uh, great stuff and now that she's in the loop with lucy um should be interesting to see where things go forward from here onwards. So, yeah. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my Meiji Feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!